you know, there's a lot of problems in the world and we can only take on one at a time. And some aren't as hard to fix as one might think. Um, is there a cure for racism? You can't get away from the concept or the it being brought up either on social media or one of mainstream's news networks, if you can call them that. But there is a cure for racism because there's only one race of people in the entire world, and that's mankind. Uh, you know, God created things a certain way, and if you are able to bring forth, you're classified as a kind. Uh, the Bible says in the book of Acts that God created all nations. That's people groups of one blood. Your skin tone, your skin shade, none of that changes the race that you're a part of. It's just the human race. And many of these concepts have always existed, but in reality, they only exist in our minds. There are walls that we can tear down, that we can climb over, that we can be cured from with just learning knowing and accepting the truth about who we are. And we're the one part of creation that's created in God's image. There's no excuse for racism. There's no excuse for looking down on somebody because of a skin color or where they're from. There's no excuse for feeling inferior because of where you come from or don't come from and in the area that I've grown up in we saw a period of time where racism as far as what could be seen with your eyes had reduced a great deal but we've all suffered from misinformation about who man is and I myself grew up ignorant of such a simple truth that there's no difference in one man to another or one woman to another based on skin color or demographics such as that and you know I had been taught aspects of, of looking at people from a racial point of view. Some of those beliefs and what I thought was right and true, I was aware of. Some of them I found out later that they were hidden deep in the way that I thought. And the knowledge can cure that. The cure for racism is is the truth of who we are. It's the truth of mankind that we're everyone a sinner. Whether you've trusted Christ and you're a believer and a saint or whether you've not, which I pray that you do. We're all sinners. We're all created equal by God. And when you start to see things that way, when you start to look at other people that way, things that used to matter don't anymore. Walls start coming down and you start to care about people. And I pray that that's a truth that everybody comes to because if we don't change what we're spreading to the next generation. If we don't start 
planting different seeds so that the truth can grow and produce different crops and and generations of people that think differently that they see what needs to be changed and accept that fact and say you know what you know that's just foolish for me to hold on to to something to be a bigot based on an imaginary concept which is that we're a bunch of different races and different people have are worth more than others that's just nonsense and it can be cured learn the truth the truth exists in scripture clears clears day christians have no excuse to have ever looked down on another group of people based on race or pardon see it's it's ingrained in us based on skin color or language and think that that's okay because it's not I pray that everybody looks inside their soul, looks deep inside them to see, do I hold any respect or any lack of respect toward a certain person because their skin's darker brown than mine or because their skin's lighter than mine or because they have more money or they have less money and, and get that stuff out of you. There's no place for it. Everything brings forth of its own kind. Mankind does it. Evil does it. Racism will beget more racism. Hate begets more hate. We think of so many reasons to hate people. And if we just take a deep look inside our own selves, we could spend a lifetime loathing who we are at times and have no reason to look down on other people. I pray that people will start to take seriously the need for change and will do what they need to do in their own lives to make it happen. It's not going to happen in Washington. It's not going to happen in these cabinets of elected officials with politicians. We've got to get away from that idea that we need to reach out to some other person to get them to change our thinking for us. And we need to do it one person at a time and let that person spread it until it becomes a community and let those communities come together in that common truth. And Watch the truth grow. Watch the light of that truth start to lift the weight that people carry privately inside them regarding this subject. And may God bring this about. And I pray that he receives all the glory for it because it comes from his truth. And we've got to quit being led by our emotions. and let ourselves be led by reason and truth despite our emotions. Our emotions can change faster than the weather whether or not we've eaten breakfast or had a bad day or not enough sleep. We need something more solid to stand on than our emotions. I just wanted to share some some random thoughts that were prompted and uh, somehow I hope they're a blessing to you. God bless you all. Pray that you're safe. Pray that things are well on your end and God bless you and take care.